Hi everybody, this is Leah of CJ Drill. Now have you ever wanted to attach something to concrete or brick and well you didn't really know how to go about it? Well today's video I'm going to show you how to accomplish just that. We're going to go over a few fasteners, give you some options, and then I'm going to actually show you how to install them. Now the first three, these three are considered removable fasteners. The first two are concrete screws and this last one here that's called a strike anchor and the reason why people like to use these three is because they are removable if you make a mistake and you're not happy with where you position something these make it easy to make those changes now the two on the end here well they're considered permanent anchors once you install these two you can forget about it you can't budge them they're not going anywhere this is called a sleeve anchor and this here is called a drive anchor and it's this one here is only meant for concrete now what you're going to need and what we're going to use for the installation today is we're going to use something called a hammer drill now you can also use a rotary hammer but we're going to use a hammer drill. I like hammer drills because they're inexpensive and they're very accessible to the average DIYer. Okay. Now, what makes a hammer drill different than a regular drill? Well, come on in close and I'm going to show you exactly why. Okay, now I'm holding a masonry bit, and this is the bit that you're going to need for this particular application. Now, what makes it different than a drill, right? Well, here's the thing. In a regular drill, the bit, the drill bit is just spinning. That's all it's doing, just spinning at a very high speed. But with a hammer drill, not only is the bit spinning at a high speed, but it's also tapping as well. Hence the name hammer drill. Okay, so what I have here is just a common brick. It's secured very tightly to a table. And so what we're going to do is we're going to drill one hole, because I want to show you how easy it is to use a hammer drill. I've already got a couple holes drilled, but let's just drill one more so I can demonstrate the process. So I've got some compressed um, air here and you want to clear the hole and the reason for that is you want the fastener to uh, be able to seat very well. If it's got a lot of uh, brick or concrete dust at the bottom then the fastener is not going to go all the way down. Now here's something that's very important I want to point out to you. When you drill your hole make certain that the depth is deep enough to accommodate the anchor. Now what a lot of people do is they take their drill bit, they'll wrap tape around the circumference of it, they'll wrap tape around it, and then they'll know when they've reached the proper depth. Now the first anchor we're going to install is what's called the strike anchor. We're going to insert it in the hole here, and then we're going to take a hammer, we're going to hit this end here that looks like a nail. And what's going to happen is, it's going to cause the bottom of the anchor to flare out, and that's what holds it in place. So let's insert it in the hole, okay? I'm going to take a hammer, and I'm just going to tap it down. Now what we want to do is take an open ended wrench and we want to tighten it. And that's going to further expand it. That's it. It's in there very, very securely. Okay, so our next anchor here is called the sleeve anchor. And what we're going to do is we're going to insert it into the hole here. We're going to tap it with a hammer and then we're going to tighten the nut at the end. And that's going to cause this end to flare out just like the strike anchor and that's what holds it in place. So let's insert it, right? Now let me just tap it in place. It's good. Now I have an open-ended wrench on it and now I'm going to tighten it. What that is doing is it's creating that bottom that I showed you to flare. And it's starting to tighten up. It's starting to get real tight now. And that's it. 
So this is our concrete screw here. And if you've noticed, the head is tapered, but the hole in the brick, well, it's not countersunk. So I'm not going to be able to drive the screw completely in. If I do, I may split the brick. This is a number three Phillips bit, and that's what you want to use for this particular uh, concrete screw. Now that's perfect. That's in there very securely. Remember I said I wouldn't take it all the way because that head is tapered. Now our last anchor is our drive anchor, and it's designed for tamper-proof installation. That's why the tip of the head has no slots. It's no way for you to pull it, even if you could which you can't because once it's installed that's it folks i gotta tell you it's the split it's the split wedge here that holds the anchor securely in place okay so i'm going to insert the drive anchor okay it's inserted now i'm going to take a hammer and i'm going to tap it down 